Namaste. Welcome. For today, I'd like to talk about the throat reach and the front of the neck and the movements happening inside the throat in relation to what's happening inside the mouth as we move the tongue and setting up for the Kachuri Mudra and how to align the head and the neck so we can keep the practice light. Overall, the neck muscles remain relaxed in the practice, from setting up to releasing the element. Although later on, as we open the mouth to prepare for it, there will be some involuntary actions of the neck muscles, but they are organic. They're part of the process when we open the mouth. We don't have to do them separately, they just happen involuntarily. So in actual practice, the mouth is passively open. The best way to learn this is by saying the word ah, 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 like you're saying the mantra ah which is good for nourishing the heart, all right? And as you do that, keep the head and the neck literally aligned. Ah, ah, all right. Although in the demonstration, I open the mouth wider so you can see, but in actual practice, the mouth is passively open. Ah, all right. Now, picking up from our past tutorial about the nasal vibration and G, yeah, keeping the lips open, yeah, pull the tongue backwards, yeah, and then just say the nasal sound and G will happen. You don't have to, to think about this. Mm. 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 Yeah. So you notice that involuntary suction happening at the back of the, the mouth, the tongue pulls back and it will rise upwards to uh, the upper uh, region of the mouth where the soft palate is located and it narrows the nasal cavity. And what happens there, energetically, you stimulate the talu chakra. Now mantras which are nasal in nature, they are good in stimulating the uh, talu chakra. Now. You're going to do that technique without actually vibrating the sound. All right, so mouth is open like you're saying the word ah, and then pull the tongue backwards as if you're vibrating the nasal sound ng. And I want you to pay attention here. Now, the front of my throat, you know, the larynx, and the Adam's apple. Now, as I lift the jaw up, as an organic uh, technique of the nasal sound NG without vibrating it. This part of your jaw pulls up while the front of the throat drops down together with the larynx and uh, the, the Adam's apple for men. Yeah, the front of the throat. Yeah. This one drops, the jaw lifts up and the skull loops forward. All right. What happens there, you keep the neck in place the upper palate slightly protrudes forward yeah, and the skull loops slightly forward and that will make room for the tongue to slide upwards. That makes sense. Move the upper palate forward, widen the back of the mouth and the tongue can enter the uvula, the back of the uvula. Yeah. So before you lift the tongue upwards, now keeping the, the front of the jaw down, the throat down, I want you to look now from uh, the dropping of the, the throat region to the pulling of the jaw upwards. Keeping the technique there, And once the tongue is inside the uvula, relax. Yeah, relax the neck, relax the jaw. There's nothing happening major here, so you can continue your inner cleansing. Right? And then when you do this, you don't want to be tilting the head. Yeah, so keep the head neutrally lifted with your neck. Open. All right, let's do that again. and relax the neck, relax the jaw, all right? So this will really help you keep the technique light and supported. Yeah. This all come from experience. Uh, Kachari Mudra, uh, I learned it from the meditation. So, when, But when it happens during the meditation, it's not as active as the Kachari Mudra, but the tongue pulls backwards. 
um, feels the same. So learning Ketra Mudra, the technical aspect of it, was easy for me. I'm just translating the lessons from that energetic experience, and hopefully this helps you too. All right. And of course, uh, follow your teacher's lesson religiously. Uh, they have worked for your teachers, uh, and hopefully they work for you too. I'm just adding my experiences into your library of learnings. Uh, and yes, but this will take time yeah, uh, to sink in, to grow, and to master. Yeah, the key is practice, really. Yeah, when you keep pra practicing the elements, the sensation, the experiences, and the techniques will get ingrained naturally, organically, and that's when things happen yeah, openly. Yeah, um, the tongue, yeah, one more thing. Um, the tongue, although it's part of the mouth, the head region, it's still part of our neck and the bottom regions of the body. That's how I consider the tongue. It, most of its energetic function still belongs to the neck. It's our body's connection to the inner brain. And, and the brain is our connection to the universal life force. So yes, so the tongue is so special, yeah, especially during meditation. And the, the mantras and all the preparatory uh, lessons your teacher give you, uh, they all have meaning and purpose. And this is one of them. All right? So keep practicing until the things or the elements happen with grace. See you next time. Namaste.